hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and you're at and you're on another episode of why you telling my business don't be telling my business because i can't can and i can't can 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 i can't can and i will okay this story is not that scandalous and it's not that marvelous but we're gonna talk about a man or a fool and his money okay This man, Kanye West, has set and bought a house in the same neighborhood as his estranged wife, Kim Kardashian. He can't get back with her because she don't want him. She don't use them up high and dry and left them. She wants her freedom. Well, that's her claim to fame at this time. And what she's put in the court system is she wants to be legally single. Now, I find that very interesting because technically you can go on and get legally divorced. But this all may be for a storyline, but we're just going to follow it closely and see how it unfolds. Especially when baby girl has become uh, one step to becoming a lawyer. Even though she flunked it four times or she flunked it three times and passed it on the fourth time. If you want someone representing you like that. Go right on ahead, okay? But it just is what it is, okay? She is on her way to being a full-fledged lawyer. And I guess she's taking after her dad, Rob Kardashian. But I don't think Rob missed the bar them many times before he came legal. But we're just going to be talking about this little story just a little bit here. Um, That was Donda, his mother. And his manager at one point in time when she was living. But there are speculations. We don't know if she died by natural causes or was she sacrificed. A lot of people are saying the latter. But we don't know. We just go by hearsay. And you take it, deduce it, find some reasoning in it. And make your own assumption of what possibly could have happened. But I can tell you this. After her death, he seemed to have skyrocketed up to superstardom okay i mean he was already doing something he was making pretty good decent music at the time as well but it's just like after her death child he cultivated um up to a superstardom but he was up there with the ranks of jay-z and dre and all that kind of stuff but somewhat jay don't have anything to do with him and i think it has a lot to do with his wife beyonce because she don't care too much for kim kardashian now, we don't know the underlying story of why the two don't get along, but B has made it very, very uh, transparent that she don't want her, Jay, or her kids doing anything friendly or with the West family. Okay? Yes, it is what it is. She probably don't mind Kanye too much, but she just don't care for Kim at all. All right? But Kanye just can't seem to get it together. Um... For whatever reason, after he publicly embarrassed his wife, you know, telling very, very private information for public viewing, he kind of humiliated her in a sense. And it seems to me is, you know, he just can't, he's spiraling out of control. He can't seem to get it together. He does more harm to her. Then he goes on social media and rant and rave about it, rant and rave about it. And then he turns around and want to apologize about it. And, you know, it's just not right. And we've known both Kim and Kanye. They have definitely lived in very luxurious homes. And uh, decorated it very tastefully. And playfully. Because it seems like she's a runner. She's a track star. She's trying to run away from Kanye. <laughs> from that fast lane. That lavish lifestyle. She's trying to claim it for herself. And only herself. Not him in the picture at all. And like I said, uh, from what I've heard in social media, he's definitely um, have taken a lot of his property and turned them into synagogues or church homes. So that is very interesting to uh, understand and know. Um, all these mansions he's have, um, he has under his belt. 
he's turning them into properties where they're religious entities, meaning they're church homes. And I was like, damn, he is a smart ass businessman. Because the only thing he had to do is claim that, I think it's 5031C or 53, 5031C, something like that. But it's where you get a tax write off and you don't have to pay taxes on any of your properties that you deem as a church uh, resident or, a, 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 you know. Like a community property where it's a it's for religious purposes. So I'm like, oh, so he wants to turn all his homes to where you don't have to pay no taxes or any of that, and host several uh, religious events at each one of them and make hand money over fist. That is a smart businessman, cricket one, but it is what it is. Then you know he's claiming he's God, he's Jesus. He's even made and he's. I think somebody said he was trying to dispute it that he didn't make this Bible. That in Genesis he's saying he's the creator of heaven and earth and all that stuff. And I'm sure if you go Google it, you'll see it. But he's on some type of pilgrimage um, where he's seeing things solely how he sees them. And I guess if he has his fans or fanatics following him, he will have a uh, flock of uh, very um, persuasive sheep. That will listen and do anything he say. Even though it's not even true. Not even half true. But they love him so much. And worship him. Um, they're liable to do any and everything for him. Be it good. Be it bad. However it is um, sought out. For them to follow and partake of. And spread the word. They are willing and able and ready to do it. On his. Um, on his command I should say. But uh, Kim, like, she can't get rid of this ego for nothing, honey. She done dated men uh, in front of his face on social media. Done told him, him she don't want anything else to do with him. The, the uh, what do we call it? The, the, the nail has hit, what is it? Kanye has hit the nail on the head where he solidified them not ever giving back, getting back together. Now, I don't know what he did behind closed doors. But quiet as his kept and I'm loud as I'm going to speak it out. She don't want him no more. She don't use him up to her advantage. She don't got kids out of him. I think it's four, four or five. So, she definitely going to get some damn child support for him. And, you know, I think they still stay in L.A. And that's a community uh, service thing where he gonna get the Kim gonna get paid in other words and then she's trying to know the law for herself and how she can finagle um, things out of Kanye because he don't know about the law he has to hire lawyers but he's a smart individual if he wanted to go learn the law he could be a, a great match for her and, and be at wit's ends with her trying to fight legal custody of the children the finances and all that right now it seems like Kim is winning because this joker this is where it gets into where I stated a fool in his money now you have all the time to try to persuade your estranged wife to take you back and the one thing you do is to go buy a home that's for sale or you don't went in proposition the homeowner that's right across the street from Kim to sell their house to you. Do y'all remember that movie called Enough. With Jennifer Lopez. And I forget her uh, starring. Male. Uh, actor. That was portraying her. With her in that picture. But it was like a domestic violent picture. Where he was trying to be controlling of her. Obsessed with her. And he saw her as his trophy wife. His toy. And he didn't want her to have any friends. He pretty much manipulated her whole life. And the best way she was going to get away from him is he's going to kill her. Pretty much. That was the only way out. Do Death do us part. He meant that last part. But that first part, death do us part. So, um, I was just making a comparison to where, um, She's having a, she's had enough of Kanye, you know what I'm saying? He just can't get the picture. So he's pretty much stalking her, saying, Okay, you don't want me back. You don't want me in your house. Well, I can see my kids and all that. Come by when I want to. Well, guess what? I will go and I will buy the house, even though it's not up for sale. Then again, it might have been up for sale. He made a good offer, he got it. But then he could be just like that man in that movie where 
Jennifer Lopez, they were just riding somewhere, and she was just, you know, letting him know about a certain house they were going down the street that she always admired, that she always loved, and she wished she could have a home similar to that one, or she was hoping if they were ever would ever sell the house, she would want to buy it. And he just took it to heart. He was like, oh, you want that house? Okay, okay. So he just took her up to the house. She said, what are you doing? We, we, we can't just come on these people property. He said, yes, we can. Yes, we can. She thought it's all cute and stuff. So the owner came to the house, well, answered the door, and he had rung the doorbell. And he was basically like, you know, this is a nice house. My um, wife loves it, and I really want to make her happy. And I want to make you an offer on your home. And they was like, it ain't for sale. And then he was like, uh yeah everything's for sale so the man was kind of taken back like this man is crazy let me call the police but he was really serious and somehow he really really convinced him and made an offer or i should say he forced him you know to uh, offer him this exuberant amount of money i'm guessing that he was like but well, damn here like my full house with did yeah i'd sell ain't that you know and they seem like they were well established older type individuals that you know, they didn't really need a big house like that. They could have settled it for something, you know, smaller and, 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 and banked that money and, and took some trips or did whatever they wanted to do. So next time we saw um, it come back um, from commercial break or whatnot, um, or if you really watched the movie, it just went on to the next scene. They were moving into that house. That man had bought that house for... Uh, uh, J Lo, Jennifer Lopez. I was like, oh my God, that's what money do for you. That's what money can do for you. So I'm like, even if Kanye just was just trying to make a point and he just bought that house or you know bought it up under somebody that really wasn't ready to sell, but he enticed them with the money. Uh, he was offering them probably ten times more than what it was worth, and he got the house. Now again, he can turn his house into a fictitious church. Uh, if they can relicense it, because I think it is in a neighborhood where it's residential. It's not a business or commercial type of uh, real estate property. But, you know, he got money here. He can make it real estate if he wanted to, uh, where it be commercial or, or whatnot. Because you do have some churches um, with the framework of an older house that they restored to become a church. So, it just really depends. I don't know if they're in that type of neighborhood that would let they would let that fly. But it still could be a property that he can own. And if it didn't really, really work out for Kim and she decided she wanted to move from being um, neighbors with him in Cross the Street, um, she could sell and then he could rent that house out that he bought and try to find another property close to Kim wherever she, you know, would high tell it to or whatnot. That's just a strange, strange sense of uh, ownership that he's trying to put on the house seller, which and they let him buy, it, and the pressure that he's trying to put on Kim. Because if Kanye don't, uh, we call it straighten up and fly right, he gonna find himself with a stalker charge. Okay, and Kim do know about that. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Anybody would know about that. That he's too obsessed and um, too uh, paying too much attention to her comings and goings and things of that nature. That she can throw at him and take him to the cleaners. But it was an interesting story on Yahoo.com uh, by, I guess it's the Daily Dirt or something to that effect. Uh, it was James McClain. He wrote the article the day after Christmas. And he titled it, Kanye West buys house across the street from Kim Kardashian. <coughs> Excuse me. It says when Kanye West is struck by inspiration, he tends to quickly follow through with action. Last month, while donating Thanksgiving meals to LA Mission, West got on the horn for a surprise announcement to the local crowd saying he planned to get his family back together and rekindle a relationship with estranged wife Kim Kardashian. The fashion mogul added that if he couldn't live in the house with his family, he would buy the house right next door to Kardashian. Turns out, Wes wasn't just whistling Dixie. Though he's already got a new mansion worth $57.3 million in Malibu, about 30 minutes by car from Kardashian's vast Hilden, Hidden Hills estate. And though he, she apparently has not wavered from wanting a divorce, 
West wishes to remain closer at hand. And so he's dropped another $4.5 million on a rel- relatively modest Hidden Hills estate. One that happens to lie directly across the street uh, from his ex, Kim, compound. From here, the 44-year-old will presumably be able to keep a watchful eye on Kardashian's doings. Astute real estate followers will know that the uh, pair spent years and untold millions building their massive Hidden Hills estate, which was featured in Architectural Digest last year. Back in October, Kardashian paid West $23 million to buy out his 50% stake in the multi-acreage property. And see, she was up to some shit then. Okay, back in October of this year. But, hey, I think it was like uh, fruition coming to whatever she was planning to get rid of him anyway. And if he took the money, he should have been like, uh, why is she trying to, you know, buy me out? What's really going on? Uh, man, she had got tired of you and she saw the writing on the wall and she's trying to get the hell away from you. But you calling yourself Jesus, right? rewriting the Bible in your own image and how you want things to be portrayed on this earth that you say you don't put together. And you own, okay, and create it. And she's just tired of the hoopla, surrounded by you. And she has a new dude in town, all right? And his name is Pete, baby. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, By comparison to that enormous spread, West's new bachelor crash pad is a bona fide hovel. hovel. Built in 1955 and owned by the same non-famous family ever since, the single-story rancher is spacious but architecturally unremarkable with four bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms and about 3,600 square feet. There's also a wee guest studio with another bedroom and full bathroom best suited for staff attached to the garage. There's a square in uh, ranch spans just over a flat acre of land and also includes horse stables and some very dated interiors with wild wall carpet and a distinctive 80s bathroom or two. Given West's stature as an architectural tastemaker, his Malibu home was created or curated by legendary Japanese designer Taduo Adu and his former uh, Hollywood Hills digs or a steady and aggressive minimalism He's almost certainly give the place a good rehab before a move-in date can be set. But none of that seems to matter much. Wes really, really wanted the place and he paid a whopping $421,000 over the seller's asking price to secure the deed. See, I told you that I hadn't even read the article, but I said he was doing just like that man did in that movie enough that Jennifer Lopez had co- co-starred in and he made an offer that was so exuberant so much money over than probably the asking price or if the property wasn't uh for sale at the time of him asking to acquire that property he had to pay them hand over fist money that they just could not resist it you see what i'm saying but um that's how moguls get down that's how fools and their money get down okay that's how Kanye West, when he say he wants something, forget money. It's no object because he got it. Remember, they quoted him as being a billionaire uh, this year. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Still given its age, the property appears well maintained. The big front lawn was recently replaced with drought-resistant astroturf. A good thing for the water bill given that the San Fernando Valley scorching summers Temperatures can reach up to 110 degrees. The existing kitchen was remodeled in 2005. It includes a spacious island, uh, granite countertops, and some generic-looking white ovens, and a white dishwasher. Blessedly, there are no dreaded white refrigerators on the premises. (laughs) I don't know why people be picking at white uh, furniture or white appliances, I should say. I think they're cute. They brighten up everything. But if you're one of those people that don't like to dust, that don't like to clean, then, uh, yeah, you need to stay away from white altogether. But I thought that was just an interesting story. I really did. That 
you know, when they sell food and it's money, what do they do? Why do they spend things of that nature? Or they go to the limits to just spend money um, without thought. And, um, I mean, they can because this is what they do. They have nothing else to do. They're bored. But, like I said, in a sense, he's a real estate genius because uh, if you acquire a lot of property and it's nice, lucrative property in very well-kept neighborhoods, um, it would make you money in the long run, especially if you make those needed updates uh, and put them more into today's style of living. Uh, the decor I'm talking about, um, you can get a pretty penny. So, He's a very astute businessman, so it may be a running joke that he's actually trying to, you know, stalk um, his estranged wife. But to me, it's like he still, if it don't work out, he can still sell the property, kick rocks, and move on. So, it's however you want to look at it. Do you really think Kanye West is a nut for doing this type of thing, trying to stay close to his estranged wife? Or should I say keep tabs on her? Okay, put all these cameras where he's facing her house so he can video video record the comments and goings of anybody that goes over to her house. <laughs> and he can have secondhand knowledge, child. That man is crazy. All right. But that's what they do. When you ain't got nothing but time on your hands and money to burn, you start making decisions such as this. Does it seem like a wise thing at the time on why they're telling us he did it? Hell no. But, hey, if he, I'm sure he knows very good real estate people that can turn that property into a gold mine if it doesn't work out for him and Kim. But that was just an interesting, cute story that I had to find some logic in it because I just can't see Kanye playing himself that hard and trying to really be looking like a fool here out in these streets, okay? So, y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the situation at hand pertaining to this video do you think he's nuts for doing something like that or do you think he's a smart astute businessman trying to watch his money his property and his estranged wife all at the same damn time <laughs> y'all let me know okay blessings to you all and i will see y'all next video and let yourselves know when you come over to the house by ringing that doorbell like the video guys like it like it like it it helps my algorithm and subscribe to the channel you know I'll give you number last over here sick of well i'm over here still trying to make it do what it do dropping gems for y'all as well as um giving you entertainment okay so do that for me subscribe share and like my videos okay babies and i'll see y'all next video bye bye